So today's video is one that I am very, very excited about because we get to drive around Istanbul Park for the Turkish Grand Prix. And as you can tell by the title and thumbnail of this video, we are going to try and beat the pole time of Lewis Hamilton, which was a 122.868 in qualifying here today in Q3. We are using the new released Sim Dream Development F1 2021 mod and I'm using the newly released Honda Tribute livery from Red Bull for this weekend's race in the white and red. So very excited about this. I'll leave all the mods for the track, the sponsors, the car, the livery, all that stuff down below. And also, if you're new to my channel, guys, then consider hitting the red subscribe button. It really helps me out. If you're going to enjoy this video, leave a like. And I've got an entire playlist of every single race this season of me trying to beat the pole time. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave that linked in the top right as well. So go check that out because I've done literally every single race so far this season. And I think it's about 50-50 in terms of the ones that I've managed to be successful at and I've also failed at. So Okay then, so let's do this. You can see in the bottom left, we've got the uh, lap timer, the gear shifts and the pedals. So we're gonna just set the engine into a recovery mode for now as we get underway. Currently on a set of medium tires. We're gonna just set a bank lap and see where we're at. I have done a bit of testing and it's gonna be close this one. It's gonna be a really competitive episode. I'm gonna have to make sure I'm on my game because it's gonna be a tricky lap time to beat. So yeah, Turkey, what a track, I mean, who doesn't love the Turkish Grand Prix, right? It's absolutely insane. It's so good to have it back. And I'm a big, big fan. Qualifying, let's say the star of the show, I think, has to be Mick Schumacher. Getting into Q2 in the Haas, finishing P14, of course, benefiting from Carlos Sainz's grid penalty. And what a performance from him in Q1, you know, to pull that out. I mean, I know Ricardo um, didn't have a smooth Q1 and would have usually gotten out, but even then, Mick wouldn't have been the next car down. It's actually Sebastian Vettel. So Mick would have made it into Q2 on Merit, which is pretty insane. So really good job from Mick Schumacher. And then for qualifying itself, it does seem like Mercedes have the edge around here. So Verstappen needs to make sure he gives Bottas a bit of trouble tomorrow and ideally tries to beat him. Hamilton, of course, will start from P11. So we'll see how that works out for him, of course, in the championship fight. Uh, Lewis currently leading the championship by three points. So yeah, Verstappen needs to make up for that. And uh, yeah, we're now going to start our challenge and see if we can beat the pole time. So here we go, into the final couple of corners. I will admit the mod itself, the car liveries and models are really good. Um, the sounds are not great, I've had to replace those. And then as for the handling, the brakes are not to my liking. But besides that, it's pretty decent. So let's jump into it. DRS open on the pit straight. Get the brake bias to 52. And to turn one. Fourth gear, try and get as close as possible to the apex. Easy on the runoff. We've seen quite a few cars spin there this weekend. At turn one, have an instant. Up the hill towards turn three. Down two gears, then down three. Open up the right. Aggressive over the curbs. And then easy on the throttle through this section. There's not a lot of grip on these tyres, I will say. Very slippery. As we end sector one, into the start of sector two, turn seven. Uphill right, easy to use the back end on traction there, you got to really be careful. Turn 8, I'll be flat. Oh yes we are, lovely stuff. Flat out through turn 8, into the chicane. Oh, a little bit wide there, didn't quite get the nose in. That's going to cost us a bit of time, so there's a bit of time to find there. A little bit scruffy, I just can't break late with this mod, you have to break quite early. Make it away to the hairpin. Final part of that, Mickey Mouse section. Lots of mechanical grip needed. We're going to break. At about 125 meters on the brakes. Easy on the throttle through here. Final corner. Tip the nose in. Trying to get a bit of revs on the throttle. The eyes open. Up to the line. And it's a 27-2. Oof. That's a long way away. That is... Um, I can't even do the math. That is over four and a half, I think four and a half seconds, more or less. Fair enough, we've got work to do. Right, so for the second run, the car should be a lot more competitive. I can feel it already. We've cut down the fuel from 45 liters, which is actually 50 more than what the racing studio car starts at by default. It's actually now down to 25, so a much more competitive amount. I can feel it as well. Um, I've also gone for the soft tires now, so we're on the softest possible rubber. And um, we're gonna go for balance high on the engine mode here. So. This should help us out a little bit. 
Let's go again. The arts open. There should be plenty more grip this time. Down to turn one at the hundred. Nose in nice and early to get that rotation and get that front end grip. Carry the speed out. Already uh, three and a half, four tenths up here. As we go into turn three. Down two downshifts. We're going to keep it in fifth this time. Then down two gears. We just missed the apex there. But we're quickly back on the throttle. And we're much tighter through this double left-hander. Getting the power down so much earlier as we're already a full second up in the first sector alone. Up the hill through turn seven. Keeping it in fourth this time. Able to get the power down a lot earlier. Turn eight shouldn't be a problem. It wasn't a problem before on the medium. And with a full tank of fuel, so this shouldn't be an issue. It's just about getting the right line. Now, this is where we lost a bit of time last time. The, the little chicane. Much earlier there on the nose, getting that turn in. Exactly what we want. Up onto the back straight. 2.3 seconds up. Still need a bit more time than that, though, to beat Lewis's pole time as we make our way into the final part of the lap here. On the brakes. Did the hairpin. Nice on the apex there. Flick it right. And flick it left again. Short shift to get the traction down. The RS open across the line. And it's a full three seconds we've shaved off there. So the soft's making a big difference along with the reduced fuel and engine mode. And that was a bit more of a clean lap with no big mistakes. So let's go again. We've got a bit more time to find in the setup. I can't lie, the car feels very fast now. So, fuel wise, 10 litres, enough to get a lap done. Same tyres, same brakes. I've modified the aero a little bit so we've got a bit more front end on the car and a little bit more rear end, but mainly the front. I wanted to get rid of a bit of front end understeer that we had. And uh, we're also going to crank up the engine mode to not just balance high, but we're also going to run the MGUH in the motor mode. So here we go. This should be it. Let's see if we have enough in the tank. To beat the pole lap across the line we go. DRS open down to turn one. Nice and early there on the turn in. Picking up the power super early. Already a tenth up. Bit of time to find through here. Oh, a bit too early on the turn in there. Can we make up for it? Not quite. Missed the epics again, so time to find through there on the next run. Power down super early though again through there. We're three turns up already. Turn seven. Easy. Yeah, back in trying to fight and get away, but we keep it under control. Half a second up right now. Beautiful. Easy flat. And there's a bit more time here. Yeah, got the power down super early that time. Back end behaving well. The adjustments have paid off. DRS open. Currently seven and a half tenths up here. We need a little bit more than this to beat Lewis's pole time. On the brakes. A bit wide there. I tried to push the brake zone. We're in the wrong gear as well, which isn't going to help. I'm going to keep it in third this time and see if I can get better drive off the corner. Not ideal. Across the line. 23-4. Okay, so we need another six tenths still. I'm gonna make some final adjustments, but I'm gonna go away now. The next lap you'll see, I think we'll beat Lewis's time. I'm confident we can beat it today.
Oh my god. <laughs> I think I've equaled the time. Hang on. I need to get a check on this. 122.838. Okay, no, we've beaten it. We've beaten it by three one hundredths of a second. Oof. Wow, we just done it. The lap was so good. I made one mistake into the um, chicane before the back straight, but I'll tell you what, that first sector was hooked up. It felt so good. What a lap though, really happy with that. Let's, let's run into the replay and let's see what it looked like. Now before I go, I thought I'd show you the setup anyways, just in case, so you have my tyres, my fuel, my electronics to go with that aerodynamics as well, which is what I adjusted. Everything else is default, except for the brake bias, which is on 52, and then everything else is also default, so the halo, the heave damper, suspension, um, yeah, pretty much everything else is absolutely default. All I changed was tyres, fuel, brakes, and aero, that's it. So. There you go, that's it from me here today guys, hopefully you enjoyed it, if you did leave a like, subscribe for more because we managed to beat the whole time which is very very decent, so hopefully um, you enjoyed the lap and uh, yeah I'll be back with more of these soon, so stay tuned on the channel for another episode of these ones, but as always check out the two videos on screen if you haven't seen them and as always a big shout out goes to the members of the channel for supporting the content, but anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time, cheers.